I knew. What the hell should I do? In episode two, Joyride, the ramifications of what Daniel did are coming home to roost. And now it's up to him to decide whether he wants to make a go of it in this world. How do you do that? He goes back to that Zen saying of chop wood, carry water. You just do the next indicated thing. And for him, it's like, well, maybe if I wash clothes, go to the grocery store, cook this dinner for my sister, I can get through a day. Hello? I hope you're hungry. I have prepared a nostalgic meal. I eat not healthy. Daniel's having a renaissance moment and decides to show up for her, make her food, and welcome her home after her day at work. And it's just too much. Amantha totally believes that Daniel should have not reconfessed and should have kept fighting. He gave up. It almost feels like a slap in the face at this moment. So I think Amantha doesn't really know how to react to it other than be honest and be like, I'm not in the mood. Can't pretend to not. Are we like stalking or something? Who knows these days? They're definitely stalking, but <laughs> Teddy is saying the modern world's complicated. Teddy also becomes very obsessed with Tawny. Tawny is the most important thing in his entire life. The first female that's loved him unconditionally. He didn't have it from his mother. He's losing it from his stepmother. It's desperation. He wants to see her. And I know it comes off in a very creepy way, but the beautiful thing is, as someone who's in love, I can only imagine losing it all. And until you're in that situation, it's very easy to judge. Redemption, sacrifice, love, it's beautiful.